Hello there, Kung Beaver here, and today I'll tour you around my reimagined spider. This took me like a week to build because I kept slacking off on um, other projects. So please bear with me. And uh, yeah, enjoy the small tour. Time for our first part of the tour, the stables. The original stable was very massive, but this one is smaller because of... I just recently found this on the prefabs. Now, it's time for the main part of the tour. Town. This building right here is um, some random storage area. It's where they store stuff. This building right here is the main marketplace. Where people go and buy their goods and sell their goods. This is the main Keeper lives right. Out here is just a, a very cool place to lounge and rest and probably drink. It's very nice, very chill. If you haven't noticed already, I changed up the roofs so I can um, match with the jungle environment of the swimming terrain. Here is yet another market, probably the most mid building out of all the other buildings. But, uh, in my opinion, this building right here is um, a house. It's pretty spacious and nice. It even has a built-in balcony. Actually, to be honest, every other building here has a balcony. The downstairs section is where you eat, cook, and do other stuff. There are two ways that we can go to this house. One way is over here, and the other way is um, the place over here. If you haven't noticed already, there's a ship in the distance. That ship is actually a fake ship. The building right here is um, the house of um, the cloth maker. This is the guy who weaves and makes clothing and other stuff for the village. We only have several more buildings to go. Our next building is the blacksmith, which is just right up here. Welcome to the blacksmith. Um, this is where he makes tools, weapons, items, pretty much everything metal. Like all the other houses, the blacksmith lives here. He even has his own built-in storage for um, tools and other things and other materials that he needs to build stuff. Over here is um, yet another storage area and marketplace. At this point, half the village is just community storage and goods and trade. I also glossed over this well that I found it, that I found in the galleries as well. This building right here is the inn. This is where travelers from other villages and towns eat, sleep, drink, and um, continue on their journey. This inn has three bedrooms, one bar, and um, something else I'm going to show you. This bedroom includes a lamp, bed, and some other baskets. Yet another one of these outdoor areas where people can do stuff. I cut to the part where, where I'm finally gonna go up the spire. I wanna show you something up here. Just bear with me. You haven't noticed it from before? Um, the spire is a little more active than it normally is, so, um, yeah. The main reason I decided to change it from a primal biome to a jungle is because, um, it just looked better. The primal biome is not that beautiful, it's just a bunch of oranges and reds. And finally, on top of the spire is um, ex an exposed zero point. Don't ask why the zero point is still exposed, because um, it, is, it shouldn't be this way, but... The build looked a lot better once I finally made an exposed zero point. 
My YouTube buddy Agent Ark gave me one, gave me the zero point prop, so I'm credits to him for helping me a lot for this build. The tour is officially over. Just bear with me, and um, I have to get back on my ship real quick. So oh, it's about to leave the port. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to um, comment on my video if you enjoyed this thing. Um, you can you can subscribe if you want to, but you don't have to. It's not required, but it would help a lot. Once again, thank you for watching. Um, have a nice day and uh, goodbye. I'm not really comfortable with um sharing my voice, so um.